All right, it's morning time here. We're gonna get started on this uh, Camelback here. And what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do a start to finish video, off and on, Camelback, tires off the ground, all the way back on and on the ground. Show you guys how this is done. Now, you're gonna need some tools. You got tools? Here we go. So I like to do tool giveaways and we're gonna have one pop up in the middle of this video. Tools to do this. I suggest a drill with a 5 16 bit. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, inch and 5 16 socket. Inch and 5 16 wrench. You're gonna need a hammer. You're gonna need a lot of hammers. Maybe a bigger one. You're gonna need the ceiling, the max ceiling. First thing we gotta do, let's take off the tires. I'm gonna do this high speed. All right, now that we got the tires off, we're gonna take this insulator cap off. We're gonna take all these bolts. So you ain't gonna worry about dropping the axle because the axle's sitting on top of the spring. The spring is sitting on the trunnion and it's on the outriggers. So you're gonna need an inch and five sixteenths or 33 millimeter, whichever one you got. I would use a three quarter because you're gonna beat on it a little bit. You know, I don't know how well them battery power gonna hold up to a big boat like that, but let's get this going. For some reason, no matter how many times we start and finish this, we always hit the impact for some reason. I don't know. Make sure it's working, I guess. Alrighty then. So one of the things after you get all that undone, you want to get you a little short hook chain like this or a chain that you can adjust pretty tight. We're going to take this chain and we're going to hook it over here. We're going to put it right here and hook it on the frame. Just like this right here. Okay. Get it up tight to your stop. You want your chain to go down through here. We'll round back over here on this side and come back up. So you got your chain coming off the other side of the frame. You're gonna go behind the, uh, the insulator support here and you're gonna go under the axle itself. Come back up here and you're gonna hook it on right here. And once you wanna bring this stop all the way down until it touches the axle and then get this as tight as you can get it. Now that the stop is touching, you're gonna hook this chain up. Bam, chain, hook, bam, there we go. Go, bam. Now with it chained up, it should have enough clearance. If you notice here, there's enough clearance to slide right underneath that drum. Both sides. Now on this, don't cut the U-bolts yet, okay? Because the spring's busted. This trunnion sleeve is busted, so we're gonna take all this off. Now, if you're replacing this, don't even worry about these, just drill them out. Chances are they're gonna break off, you're gonna twist your bit off, because these are 3 sixteenths and they're a pain in the butt to get out, okay? You're gonna love that rag at the cleaning. Then you're gonna need a no 
number three, Phillips head. Bit, whatever you name. You wanna do bit, you wanna do a screwdriver. I don't know, we still got screwdrivers, but maybe they're still screwdrivers. I just got screwdrivers, but I don't use them. You're gonna need a 15 and a 14 millimeter. Yeah, if you wanna loosen this up, take that out, and it's gonna unscrew. Alright, so I've seen a lot of guys beat on these things, right? So you want to take this bolt out and loosen it off right here because you'll be beating on this thing all day trying to get it to turn. Okay. You're going to need a, this one's actually a standard bolt. I don't know why it's a standard bolt. Most of them are metric. They're usually 14 millimeter uh, bolt or, uh, you know, but for some reason this one's standard. I don't know why. But, here we go. in here is not worn out. Problem is is that the uh, spring bolt sheared and it got loose and busted the cap on the back side here. So the cap has to be replaced or the uh, trunnion sleeve. They call it the trunnion. What do you want to call it? Right. <clears throat> so we got a forklift. Throw this right on the forklift so that we ain't gonna pick it up off the ground. Cut these bolts and get this saddle out of here. Springs bolt, center bolts busted. We want to take, just cut these off because we want this saddle right here. We're not gonna buy another one of them. Best way to do this is just lay this bad boy down. Like that. Uh -huh. You're gonna put a new cap on or this new trunnion sleeve. You want new bushings. You want everything to be new inside here that goes with this, right? U bolts and spring and everything, so you don't have to worry about none of this stuff. Make sure you wear your eye protection. Before we put all this back together, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna inspect right around this area here for any cracks. We'll look up in up inside here for any cracks. Uh, we're gonna actually measure uh, from the center. We're actually gonna measure from the center here. A little, I got a little dowel that'll go in there, and we're gonna measure to the back of the frame back there on both sides. I already have the dimension from the other side, so I know what it should be on this side. Let's 
you want to inspect all your welds right in here and everything. Brush them off, you know. Make sure there's no cracks. Everything looks good. Go ahead and paint that on down. Not much of a painter. Alright, so we want to get our new spring and we're going to slide it on the forklift. I'm lined up with a truck, so this side's gonna go down. Like so, so much easier to do this right here. Just kind of do this on the truck. Obviously, you got directional nuts. Now, what I do is, is I'll take this and I'll. I'll stop. Snap on here. All right, so what I'm planning on doing is, is uh, I plan on doing a tool giveaway. I like Snap-on tools. Everybody likes Snap-on tools. Okay, well, not everybody likes Snap-on tools, but me and Bob, we like Snap-on tools. Well, when I get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick five lucky random subscribers, and we're gonna show you what kind of tools we're gonna give away. Now this will only be on this platform, no other platform. I'm on multiple platforms and I've done this before on other platforms, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna get with the Snap-on guy and we're gonna see what we can do. Until then, you'll have to stay tuned to the shorts and figure out exactly what I'm giving away. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, so what I do is I take this impact right here, one inch drive, HEP, right? This thing runs up to about 2,700 foot pounds forward, about 3,500 foot pounds in reverse, but I run these down until they stop moving. Give it all it's got. It'll lower the amount of times I have to turn the torque wrench. Well, seeing as my phone died. Anyway, listen closely. Good and tight. All right, so on the back side of here, we're gonna put a little grease right here. Just a little bit. Now Bob's fingers all lubed up. Now there's brass washer right here. Now this faces in toward the, like this, goes straight down, like that. You don't wanna put it in dry. And Bob's gonna spread us a little more grease on there. And we have a steel. Spacer. It's not directional. Drop it on in there. Just like that. Then we have a seal. Now this seal is directional. It tapers this way. That taper goes in toward the trunking uh, sleeve. This goes in toward the truck. Okay. The reason why is so that way grease can get out, but material in particular can't get in. It's in all the way. Nice and close. Now you're gonna put you a thin layer of grease on your shaft here. You know, get her nice and lubed up so it slides on in. Lock ring, 
Obviously, can only go on one way, but uh, let me. Flat side. Ian. Alright, so not a lot of you have been asking about the bob finger and where I got it from, okay? I have looked everywhere for this finger and I cannot seem to find it, okay? So what I'm going to try and do is, is I have a merch store and everything and I sell hats and I'm trying to get t-shirts on there and stuff like that, but I'm going to try and find Bob, if I, even if I had to make it myself. Alright, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support and everything. You guys are great. Now, if you look over here, there's probably another video that popped up. Go check it out.